Oh man, this this uh, clock change threw me off, you know. Threw me off a little bit. Threw me off. You know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of Notre Dame. Notre Dame football. They got, they're on NBC. They make a whole lot of money. Like every week they own TV. Notre Dame is on TV somewhere every week. And I'm not talking about ESPNU. I'm talking about on the mainstream network. And all they do is disappoint. They get too much media hype to be disappointing the way they are. They lost to Clemson. Clemson was four and four. They lost to Clemson yesterday. USC, I kind of understand. They don't play defense. But they get a lot of media hype. They get a lot of coverage. They get a lot of attention and they're a disappointment. Uh, Deion Sanders in Colorado, they panicking. They panicking. Now, Deion Sanders made Pat Shermer, who coached the NFL a long time, he made him the de facto offensive coordinator. Colorado was down 20 to 5 going in the fourth quarter. They had less than 100 yards for most of the game. And their defense played great. They lost 26 to 19. But, yeah, Prime is panicking. He should have never changed the offensive coordinator. That's not where their problems lie. That's not where their problems lie. They don't have an offensive line. They don't have a defensive line. But they've been playing defense the last couple weeks. They're kind of turning the corner with the defense. But uh, I wouldn't have changed the O.C., because he sucked, he sucked last night. He did. Now, Prime is taking heat. They got to find a way to get a couple wins. I don't know if it's going to happen. But they had the opportunities last night to be Oregon State, and they didn't, they didn't, they didn't get it done. With that being said, I'm going to talk about Jackson State. Uh, Jackson State was cruising along to a victory, and Texas Southern scores a late touchdown, and... It's 21-19 with a few seconds left. Oh, so, of course, Texas Southern got to go for two. And you know what saved Jackson State? An uh, interception. That's what saved Jackson State. Tim Stewart intercepting the two-point conversion. That saved Jackson State from going to overtime and possibly losing to a 2-1-6 football team. Jackson State was not convincing. It wasn't, I don't, they played down to their level of competition. To me, it was a disappointing win, but it's a win. So you always take a W, but they didn't look good. Their defense played real good for most, for most of the game. Offensively, it wasn't great. Texas Southern star running back with Darius Owens. He ended, with, he ended up with 106 yards rushing in the game. And the other running back, Ja'Cory, Howard, he had a 34-yard touchdown run. I'm telling you right now, in the fourth quarter, Texas Southern had all the momentum. They had the opportunities to, to win the game. Jackson State got a couple stops on defense. Jackson State didn't do nothing offensively in the second half. Nothing. They lucky to get a win. Jacoby and Morgan, he had wide receivers open all day long, but he didn't trust his arm and pretty much was a game manager for the whole game. He fumbled the ball twice, but he got it back. He did have two rushing TDs, but he wasn't that effective. So they played a final game next week. As Jackson State, they play next week. So let's see if they can finish the season eight and three.